Welcome back to another thankful day in November, day number nine. We're gonna look at Colossians 3, verse 16. Colossians 3.16 says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. I love that he says we should be singing with other people and praising his names. I looked up the word gratitude because I'm kind of into looking up words here lately. Gratitude says, The quality of being thankful, readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness. And to return kindness. So that's an action that we're going to give back to someone. When we're thankful for them, we're going to return kindness. I really like that. So looking at this verse here, I kind of see three things um, that he says that we're supposed to do. First of all, we are supposed to teach. And when you teach someone, that helps them to know the right way, right? And stay out of trouble. And then admonish one another with all wisdom. So admonish might mean like when someone's done the wrong thing, you're kind of correcting them and turning them around. So teach them the right thing to do in the first place. And if they don't do the right thing, you can admonish them, but with wisdom, right? Not with hatred or pain, but with wisdom, correct those people. And then it says, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your heart. So that's another action. We're supposed to be singing this praise to God. And I love this commentary here. Paul never gives preference to one type of music over another. His purpose here is simply to state that all types of music were used to let the Word of God dwell richly within us. This singing was to be done with an attitude of thanksgiving. So see, we're not supposed to sing grudgingly. I know some of you don't like to sing, but you're supposed to sing with gratitude in your heart. And also, it doesn't matter what kind of songs, right? Psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Let's not argue if our church to do hymns or praise music or contemporary, or if we should have drums in church or whatever, right? The point is to be praising God. So I hope that you're in a situation where the more focus is on praising God and not worrying about what type of you know, praise music it is, because it's all praising God. So today, I hope maybe you can teach someone new something about Jesus if they don't know Jesus at all. And if someone is maybe not doing the right thing, you can gently guide them back with wisdom, right? Admonishing one another, but most importantly, praising, praising God with any kind of music, no matter what your voice or level of skill as a musician or anything is, that doesn't matter. It's depending on our hearts. That's what God's really looking at. Just lifting up great praise to Him because He is worthy of our praise. Have a praise-filled day and I'll see you back here tomorrow. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. You can contact me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. I hope you have a blessed day living for Him.